Long before Spanish colonizers landed on its shores, South Florida was a land of legends and monsters. But are these dinosaurs as dangerous as they seem? What secrets are they hiding? And can we live alongside them? I've made it my mission to find out. This is Wild New York. My name is Ben, and I'm an amateur naturalist and animal lover. It's absolutely crazy just because, like, it's a foot off the road. Join me on a special series of episodes as we explore the parks of South Florida and learn a little bit more about the incredible wildlife that calls them home. When you look at the American alligator, you're looking back in time. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, sometimes called the Cretaceous Tertiary or KT extinction, occurred 66 million years ago and wiped out almost 75% of all plants and animals. This included all of the large reptiles and dinosaurs, with one notable exception, crocodilians. Crocodilians are divided into 24 recognized species, including caimans, crocodiles, gharials, and alligators. Alligators are only found in two locations, eastern China and the American Southeast. And no, despite what you've heard, you won't find them lurking in the sewers of New York City. American alligators can be huge, and adult males average between 11 and 15 feet in length while weighing up to 1,000 pounds. Females are only slightly smaller, usually between 8 and 9 feet. Despite their bulk, alligators can move with surprising speed. When traveling on land, they tend to stalk high and slowly, but they can lunge in and out of the water at over 30 miles an hour and can swim through the water at speeds of 20 miles an hour, driving their bodies with powerful tails. Unlike mammals, crocodilians experience indeterminate growth. As long as there's food and space, they never stop growing. The largest confirmed alligator on record was 15 feet 9 inches long and more than 1,000 pounds. It was caught by a hunter in Alabama. It's currently on display at the Wildlife Museum in Montgomery. But big things have small beginnings. Crocodilians are among the only reptiles who care for their young, with hatchlings staying near the mother for as long as a year. Identical to adults in nearly every way, young alligators are distinguished by bright yellow bands around their bodies and, of course, their size. When the Endangered Species Act was passed in 1973, the American alligator was listed as one of the many animals in need of protection. But 15 years later, conservation efforts led to sustainable populations and the delisting of the American alligator. As of this year, an estimated half a million of these big beasts call South Florida home. Now that we know a little bit more about them, let's go see if we can find some in the wild. So, like 10 feet into the park. First one of the day. Shark Valley is smack in the middle of the Everglades. And during the dry season, it is absolutely packed with wildlife. There were alligators aplenty but also other incredible species, like the green heron, tricolored heron, the yellow-bellied slider, which you can also spot as an invasive species in New York, the Florida freshwater turtle, and the anhinga. I was blown away to see more than a dozen alligators basking in the sun or just inside the water's edge. It's absolutely crazy just because, like, it's a foot off the road. Like, here's the path. There you are, little guy. Although alligators have been known to prey on Florida's large mammals, including deer, panthers, and even black bears, these instances are rare. They primarily eat fish, crustaceans, and even help cut back on the invasive Burmese pythons. They have only been 257 documented alligator attacks on humans since 1948, and in 2020, there were 12 unprovoked attacks, none of which were fatal. The American alligator is one of our biggest 
conservation success stories. Once considered an endangered species, they now support populations that allow for hunting seasons in some of our lower southern states. And, uh, as you can see, this little four-footer behind me is doing just fine. It's safest to assume there's an alligator in every body of water in South Florida deeper than a puddle. As urbanization continues to encroach on wild habitats, it's important to modify our own behavior to safely share space with these incredible creatures. If you're in an area where alligators live, be sure to observe them from a safe and respectful distance. Always leash and control your pets. And remember, never feed wildlife. Alligators are a shiny example of our powers of conservation. And if we continue to keep the natural world in mind, we can all share a brighter future. If you enjoy our episodes, don't forget to throw us a like and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss a single episode.